Have you ever experienced any of the following symptoms? Oh yeah, cool, I'm really happy you got a new job, it pays more than mine does. Yeah, everybody, pay more attention to her. Oh wow, seems like everybody just thinks those two have a really, really great relationship. Hope they get in a fight. What? He said that and they're laughing at it? That's not even funny. I've been saying way funnier things all night and nobody's been laughing. These people don't know anything. Yes? If so, you may qualify to be part of a class action lawsuit regarding your emotional investments. So you might have been taken in by a large-scale investing scam by the Enmity and Gain organization. They have launched a multi-billion dollar campaign to try to get you to invest your hopes for happiness in your own self-image. The majority of that money went towards buying advertising space inside your own mind. You've probably seen some of their ads. Being better than the people around you will make you happy. Being more attractive than other people will make you happy. Outperforming your rivals will make you happy. So what they've gotten us to do is buy a ton of stock in our own self-image. As in, they've gotten us to adopt a happiness strategy that goes like this. There is this one person that is me. The person that I think about the most often is me. I'm happy when things go well for me and when other people praise me. And when things do not go well, I am unhappy. Most of my time is spent trying to make sure stuff goes good for me, because then I'll be happy and fulfilled. But self-image is a terrible thing to stake all your hopes for happiness in. First of all, it's flimsy. If 10 people come up to you in the course of a day and say, man, you did a really great job, great job, but one person comes up and says, uh, this is a couple ways you could have done this better, what's going to stick with you? Or if 10 people come up to you and say, hey, this, uh, you look really good, say something nice about the way you look, but one person comes up and says something critical, what's going to stick? What's going to get replayed over and over and over? Not only that, but the more that you succeed, the more fragile your self-image can get. Because if you think that you're really good at something and somebody doesn't compliment you on it, that can lead to trouble. And if you do get compliments, you start to just brush them off. Also, self-image has the unintended consequence of degrading the quality with which we treat each other. It's naturally competitive, and it can convince you that other people stand in your way. And it gets us to just act nastily towards each other, or snap at each other, or undermine each other. It's toxic, not a good primary investment. So not only are these guys guilty of pushing an inferior product on us, but they've also launched a smear campaign against their primary competitor in the happiness marketplace, what we call altruism. You've probably seen some of their stuff. You can't sustain yourself on the joy of altruism as your primary motivation. It's wimpy. There's not enough calories in it. But altruism, or putting other people first, selflessness, is not just about going to the soup kitchen. Although the people that do that generally say, dude, that was awesome. It's also the kind of stuff like doing your job really well because you're excited about the product. Wanting your kid to succeed and taking happiness in their fulfillment. Giving yourself over to a cause. This is high quality stuff. There's nothing wrong with trying to feel good about yourself. Now this is a particularly insidious one, so I'm gonna to talk directly to you, the consumer. There's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself. There's nothing wrong with feeling good about yourself or setting healthy boundaries. When that stuff needs attention, go for it. But if that's the primary focus of your life, if that's the overarching goal, you're always gonna be vulnerable to attacks by the EGO. Yep, you know those negative thoughts and feelings that you get all day that try to take your self-esteem out? They're from the EGO too. They have a vertical monopoly. What they do is come at you during the day, try to make you feel worthless, make you feel no good, and then they try to sell you these self-centered ways of acting to try to get you to feel good about yourself again. But what they don't want you to know is the only way to start feeling happy and start feeling good about yourself again is to stop worrying so much about yourself. But they won't tell you that because they don't want you off their product that you have to pay dearly for. They don't want you to know about the no strings attached, potentially unlimited happiness that altruism can lead you towards because then they can't exploit you anymore. We're hardwired to be emotionally fixated on ourselves. You can't just foo-foo, la-la, rainbows and butterflies and suddenly think of others first. No, you can't, but you can make gradual progress. Think about people who have recovered from being alcoholic. Think about the amount of effort that took and the grind they had to go through to displace and uproot something that was central to their lives in so many ways. If people can do that, we can do this. There is the potential for change that happens gradually, day by day, and we can do it intentionally. 
We don't get fixated on concern for ourselves and competition with others naturally. We get it because the EGO gets us to invest in it every day. When they feed us those negative thoughts about other people and we take them and go over and over them and make them our own, we're investing our time and energy in making the EGO's view of life our view of life. The more time we spend on being judgmental and critical and jealous, the more we cement that into our psyche. We can make real progress with a simple three-step process. One, notice when you're being fed unhealthy thoughts and feelings. Two, don't invest in them. Rather than saying, hey, these are my thoughts and feelings, I'm gonna give them my time and energy, you could just go with, oh, there's a thought, I think I'll leave it. Three, spend one extra minute a day focusing on someone else's happiness. Or if you've got extra time, take a little bit to try to see how you can make it happen. It's just about slowly shifting our diets. So if you or your loved ones have been harmed by the entity and gain organization's business practices, you may be entitled to a large settlement. And you certainly deserve better investing advice that will actually lead you towards the happiness, peace, and fulfillment that we're all looking for. If enough of us get together and boycott the EGO, we could really make this happen. The small step that all of us can take right now is to get off their product. Hey, maybe give the other option a shot.